Hello, hello, this is Pat Petresca Papers. Um, if you've watched part one of our cake mix box journal with junk mail masterboard, <laughs> that's a mouthful. I just finished that, taping that, and now I'm gonna jump into doing this, the box. I figure, why not? This is what we just created. Whoop, I think there's a right and wrong side. Maybe not, maybe not, but this is the way it was created. So this is what we're gonna use. This is a piece of double, this was two of the rooms to go. I glued it together with the glue stick and then we started putting all kinds of fun things on here in no particular order no particular color scheme so if you want go back on my channel and find this part one okay if you're interested in that it's called a master board and then we are going to cut it up into covers for our junk journal all right so the first thing we're going to do is disassemble this box and i'm going to take off this this end that will match that other end that's been taken off okay now boxes have to have a seam somewhere sometimes there's one on both sides but this one is on this side you know usually i cut that out but I'm thinking that's gonna give us some extra stability because it does have, in here it's got a little bit of overlap. So we're gonna, we are gonna keep it. So what I'm gonna do is fold this like this and I'm gonna go to my paper trimmer and hope that my paper trimmer doesn't choke. Actually, I have a big chomper. Give me one second while I do that. I don't know how to pause or I would pause you, but you get to hear me over here with my big guillotine. And I go chomp and chomp. So that makes this book seven inches. Okay. Seven inches tall. See, that was that was so nice. Went nice and fast. And then again, we're going to keep this as the spine. And we're going to cut this off. And I think that I'm going to use my ruler. And, whoa, this is not a cutting surface. Okay, you line. You're going to get to come into use again because who cares if we cut into you all right and it's got some straight edges here that i can follow but we're just going to cut that right there that little yellow strip off i'm going to take a couple of passes of the knife my blade is fairly sharp i changed it out did a scrapbook weekend with my friend Tracy in the middle of pretty much nowhere in Georgia at a very nice um, outdoorsy thing okay so we've cut that off now we need to cut this and I think I'm just going to use my scissors probably should so we cut off a little bit. Ah, guillotine. Guillotine, I want to have a straight line. I don't want to have to straighten up and then I'll lose a little bit. So I'm going to cut in just a little from that edge and let's see how perfectly imperfect we can be. There we go. Out of the way. That looks, that looks pretty good, don't you think? Yeah. So this is what I cut off, and I think that should fit right in there. And let's turn it over so we're dealing with plain. 
Okay, I'm gonna use a glue that's going to give me some good contact. I think I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac. So these are from Amazon. They're Sugar Bell icing bottles. So it gives you a semi-small tip. Um, I have been using, oh my gosh, look how sad that is. It's a glue pin. It is so icky. And I was watching somebody the other day and they had a cap on their Sugar Bell thing. And I'm like, what? So I had to go look for those. And of course, they're not a prime product. So I'm going to have to wait. I'm not good at waiting. Are you good at waiting? <laughs> I'm so used to Amazon. It's like, okay, if it's prime, I want it in a day or two. But this is going to have to wait till next week. But it's not like it'll stop me from doing anything. Okay, come on. Since it was upright, and I think, and I'm sure if you've got any Fabrifix or 3-in-1, the silicone glue starts to get very thick. I hear you can thin it with alcohol or... I don't know if it was alcohol or if it's um, nail polish remover, acetone. I have to read about that before I start doing an experiment. Okay, come on. There are times when you just want that little thinness. There are other times, let's just squirt it out. Just get out. Okay. I think that's about my limit, but I'm gonna just put that there. I'm gonna use some of my, I'm gonna use two glues. I'm gonna use some of my art glitter glue. And I should spread this around, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna make sure I've got a good layer there. And we know what's gonna happen. It's gonna ooze, for sure, for sure, for sure. But what's a little oozing when we're doing a junk journal? Okay, you can stand up. All right, let's glue this down right there. My plan for this is to do what's called a hidden spine. It's where you won't see stitching or whatever when you put your... Oh, just lost that word. When you put your signatures in, let's push you down a little bit. And I'm using a, a baby wipe from Dollar Tree. Um, what would we do without the Dollar Twenty Five Tree? If you're in the United States, don't know what you've got in uh, Europe. Or up in Canada, right? Now, this is not going to be a terribly thick cover, but when we get our master board on, that does strengthen it a bit. All right, so here's our album, okay? So, let's see. I think I'm going to do something different. Usually... I will put my cover on and then wrap it to the inside. I think we're going to start with one piece of paper and wrap to this side and then just cut our master board and have it fit on there. Okay, does that make sense? All right, didn't even think about this before because I just jumped right, right, right into this. Let's take a look. I've got, I think, a big piece of, ooh, how about this? Oh yeah. So this is one of my um, hibiscus out in the sunshine paper. I do have a heat press that I do sublimation with and I'll take a bunch of my paper in when it's all wrinkly and I heat press it at 
300 something degrees and I get this really nice flat. But I think that's what we're gonna do. This was cool, it was a stencil I had and I dipped them in the, in the dye, put it on the table, put the uh, stencil down and I actually put another one on it. It was kind of interesting, they both came out with the pattern. I hope you can see that. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that perfect edge around there. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is glue that down. And I'm going to, I'm going to cheat. Yes, I am. Because I can, I'm going to use double-sided tape. You don't have double-sided tape this wide, and I joke that this is double-sided tape that you could tape a child to a wall. If you don't have double-sided tape, glue it, glue, glue stick it, but I'm going to do this because I've got it. All right. Now, this can be a bit tricky. I'm not going to glue right now on that spine. So I'm going to go to that edge there and down and quickly go down, okay? And then, come here, you line. We need you again. We're gonna cut that. So, as I'm doing this, I'm like, I don't need to do a Juliet Childs thing where that comedy routine that they do where she cut herself and she's bleeding all over. No, we're not going to do that. All right, let's do the other side. This is five inch double sided tape. Got it on Amazon. Um, I do not have an Amazon shopping list because I'm such a baby here. My little website or my little channel. Someday maybe. But just go in and look for wide double sided tape. And five inches is the widest I've got. It gets a little harder. <laughs> Look what I did. Look what I did. Is that what I heard? I thought I heard you guys yelling. You're doing it the wrong way. It's not the wrong way. We'll use that later. <laughs> but let's get it on the right side. Oh my gosh. Yes. Anyway, matching the corner. And going down that side because if you get wrinkles, it's kind of not great. Somehow I think I might have wrinkles in there. But let's find out. Ah, nope, not uh, one or two little ones. Okay, I'm gonna burnish this down so that we get a good adherence. Okay. And our spine is right there. We want it to go all the way across. So we're going to cover that up using some not so wide tape. Okay. So we're going to go across here. I was watching Victoria Designs. That's with an E, Victoria, and this is what she uses. And I'm still trying to figure out how to hold it because she just whips it down there and tears that like nobody's business. I'm still learning. Oh, first time I was trying that. No. Let's put that here. Let's tear it. Okay. But double-sided tape, oh my gosh, what a treasure. If you don't have any, you really need to get some. Get a thin and a thicker like this. I think this is half inch. This makes life so much easier. I remember, it must have been 10 years ago, Score Tape had just come out, or Score Pal had just come out, and they had really wanted to, let me grab my thinner one. They introduced this double-sided tape. I was working at a scrapbook store and I ordered a bench and I had a couple of days off and when I got it in the mail, 
I took it into the shop and said, you guys, look at this. And honestly, it's a game changer from what we were doing. All we were doing was glue or scrapbooking tape, those tape runners. Okay, there we are. This one, I believe, is a quarter inch. And that'll fit right in there. Sorry that I have to keep running. I should have been more prepared. But you know, when you just get that urge, you just do. Okay, more of this. And it's kind of nice this isn't one huge piece because that gives me the option to start gluing down here in the center. Does that make sense? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the tape from that center, get that centered in there, and then I'll, yeah. Then I'll pick this up, take that off, and tape that down, okay? All right, here we go. Now, for a lot of you, you're like, oh my gosh, this is why I hate double-sided tape. Well, this tool, can be helpful if you grab right under there and catch that edge instead of with your fingernails. So if you have beautiful fingernails, which I don't have, don't judge me. Don't look. Don't judge me. My friend Tracy, oh my gosh, she she's a hairstylist, beauty consultant. She has the most beautiful nails. And I know whenever we get together, she's just like, oh, come on, Pat, let's get your nails done. I just can't deal with that big, thick nail. I do get, right now I'm in my long stage. One will break pretty soon here, and then it's going to be, cut them all off. Because then once they start, one breaks, they all break. Does that happen to you guys? Yeah. All right, so now we got to decide... You know, that's really pretty, but somehow it's got lots of discoloration. I think I want to see that one. I love that stain on it, too. Well, there's a stain there, too. I think we're going there. Okay, here we go. We're going to measure kind of equal distance, equal distance, whatever that word is, and plop it down. Okay. Remember, we're doing the inside first. I know. I haven't done this before. Could be a complete fail. But we're going to go with this. Okay? So now, we're going to flip this up. Catch that right. Sure we are. Sure we are. Okay? I don't want to separate that paper from the tape. Oh, and I am. Get back down there. Go. Let's try another corner. Let's try one of these corners that's a little easier to get at. I'm trying to not block your view because I'm sure you're watching with bated breath. I don't even know what that means, but yeah. There we go. Peel this off. And it'll be nice. We're going to finish off that edge. So peel that off. And then down it goes. Did I get a wrinkle in there? Nope, that's just the dye from the paper. All right, let's come over here. And since that was much easier than trying to go into the center, let's find your sweet spot there. Will you come off? Come on. Be nice. Be nice, come on. Let's use your finger now, maybe. Yep, there we go. Peel that back. And I keep a bunch of these bigger pieces. These are really good to glue on or use these as non-stick surfaces. So I kind of keep a basket full of them. Okay. All right, let's get this down. Oh, I don't want this video to go too long. It takes so long to upload them. All right, so now we're gonna fold all our edges up, nice and tight, maybe even running along it with a bone folder or my squeegee. I've got plenty of bone folders, but 
They've all taken a vacation or something. They've headed for the coast. Okay. Let's do that again. We want a nice, tight fold. And then I'm going to fold these edges. This is going to give me some registration for mitering. Okay. All right. Just ignore that for now. I'm going to have to deal with that here shortly. But there's a couple of ways to miter. I've got an awesome tool that whenever I want it, hello, it hides. And that's no different today. So we're just going to wing it. So mitering is what we're going to do to try and keep that point covered. So you want to have, you want to cut in an angle and then across. You see, I'm leaving, oh, I didn't leave much there. Let's see if we can do better over here. So I'm going to cut in and across and in and across and our fourth one in and across okay not too bad not too bad not too bad now if I hadn't have this here then I would run my tape along each of these sides and I'm still going to do that but I do have this that I can cheat with a little I have to be careful and not tear it all up so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that away about that much and then I'm going to use my inch tape here or my half inch I think I've got inch somewhere but I don't think that's a full inch I am going to oh I probably shouldn't have done my mitering until I did this tape because now I've got that little angle to deal with not the end of the world, but we'll cut there and we'll cut there. And I probably didn't even need to put it over here, but this one's just going to be doubly stuck down. Let's just keep doing this. Let's pull this up. There we go. Can we get it? Yep. Fold that back a little. Right like that. And let's get some tape on here. And once you do angle it, you do get a nice little angle that matches up with some somebody. I have to keep looking for it. Oh, come on. Oh, for Pete's sakes, get up to there. Okay, there we go. And then this one will get trimmed. And then we have to figure out who do you match? Hmm, which angle do you match? It's this one. Come right along there and there, and we're going to need to do that same thing. With this, let's fold this up here so that we can stick that down. So we got those three corners. Over here, it's a little more straightforward because we didn't put our adhesive on wrong. Not wrong, but prematurely. Okay, here we go. I hope I'm in frame. I hope I'm not just blocking everything. All right, so burnish. Always remember to burnish. I can be forgetful and then I go to do things and then the tape starts coming off. You want it to be adhered really well to that paper. And since we want to get this and let's do, I like to do the tops first. Don't know if that's kosher or whatever, but that's what I like to do. So I'm going to pull that off and then I'm going to start in the center and really get around that spine because remember we're going from back 
to front. Okay, let's burnish that like that. Let, make such a nice crease. I hope I hope our spine doesn't foul us up. Okay, let's peel this off. Just using my little skinny fingernails. Pull that off. Pull this back here. Maybe just a bit more. And again, start in the middle. Kind of because there's a little raised edge on this spine because we did add extra to it. Okay, and now we're gonna burnish that nicely. I like this because it does have some flexibility to pull along there. Okay, now the two sides. Let's see if we're gonna be lucky again. Oh, didn't do too bad now. When you come over here to do these corners, someone I was watching today, you kind of fold it in, that little extra, and kind of push it down if you've got your ruler edge or a, spatch, a little spatula, but you kind of fold that in so that when you fold this up, it's folding that corner in on itself and then you should get a pretty nice corner and I kind of take my this tool I've got a little edge right there I don't like don't cut too much there we go all right one side done oh looks like it was in a water damage all right neither here nor there okay let's pull this right here, like that. And let's pull it back just a bit. Oh, I didn't do my little corner thing. Ah, Boy, and once you commit to that tape, there is really no going back, especially I've got two layers. Let's see if I can work around that right there. Uh, it doesn't look too great. Will you help me? Will you help me? Get in there. This one didn't get stuck quite all the way. All right, let's just let's just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. Let's burnish that down. Eh, not the best corners ever, but not the worst either. You can't see the cardboard. Okay. All right. Are you ready? All right. Let's see. So we're going to come back here on this side. Furnish down here. I'm going to get my official phone folder. I saw it over here saying, I'm here. I didn't leave. All right. It's down there. Okay. I have to keep telling myself, this is the inside. I think I'm going to use my ruler to kind of help guide that because it, it's kind of fighting. It's like, uh-uh, you usually make me the outside. Okay, so we're gonna come down there. Okay. And then over here. Let's find that. And do the same thing. All right. Pretty soon, we won't know that this is a classic yellow cake box. All right. Oh, cute. All right. We are ready to cut our master board. And our master board, we're gonna cut not right to that edge. We're gonna go, we're gonna make it five inches, okay? So, I think I'm gonna let this be a surprise. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm taking it to my trimmer. I'm cutting five inches by what was that? 
five inches. It was seven inches. We're going to go just a smidge less than seven. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. Let's see what fate gives us. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. No cheating. All right, we're going to go this way. Five inches. Now we're going to go seven. No, a little less than seven. You can always cut that down a little bit. Okay. Let's go five inches again. This is going to be fun to see what we get. Five and a little less than seven. What am I doing? Let's see. I hope you can hear me. It looks like it's six and seven eighths. Since I'm just sure that you're wondering. All right, here we go. Okay, this is what we have. I did not add anything extra to it. I thought we could do that when we get it onto the book. I see a little bit of that one paper that the cut compromised. Okay, all right, that's a choice for front or that for front or that for front or that for front. I don't know, this one's talking to me. Is it, is it talking to me? Yeah, I don't know. This big piece is just not yelling. I think it'll be better on the back. Okay. And the, it doesn't have to be upright. So I'm going to take advantage of this being there. And let's get rid of that. So I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to be smart. I'm not, I'm not terribly smart. I would start putting glue in there. Well, I don't know where it's going to go. So I'm going to go here. And I think that I'm going to do tape and around the edges because I don't have to put anything on that inside. And I'm just going to use my scissors right here and here and on the top. there and see it wants to stick to my scissors and right there all right so you're gonna go right okay let me think this way I think I like that yeah I think I like that all right here we go Let's burnish these down. If you weren't watching, I probably wouldn't have. I'm trying to teach you good rules. Sure. Okay, that's off. Okay, come on. Don't give me a fit now. Let's do this one. No rhyme or reason. But are you impressed? I'm not just putting all the leftover on my table. However, looking over here, I did earlier. Oh, throw it away. And then this last one, I think we overlapped it with a few pieces of tape, so I might have to set it free. Okay, there we go. Come off. Eh, you won't matter. Just, just leave it. All right, here we go. Are you ready? <gasps> You know what? We're going to distress because we're not going to be able to get in at that once it's on there. Because we'll distress the edge of that back paper that we curved around. This side doesn't really matter, but oh, what the heck. Let's do it anyway. All right. Here we go. Well, let's, here's the challenge is getting things even. Okay, and remember we're going to have something that wraps around there. 
right. Oh, all right. I think that worked out pretty good. I think we're not quite even, but you know what? <clears throat> Distress ink hides a multitude of sin. If there were only a distress ink for our lives. Uh, nah. I don't want to hide all those sins. Just don't do them. All right. Here we go. That's nice. Don't you think? All right. Let's do the back. Now, since this doesn't have that benefit of the double-sided tape... What did we say that we cut this? Five inches? <gasps> Are you exactly? Look at that. Can you see? <gasps> okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is probably where we're gonna have my big fail. But we're not gonna we're not going there. Okay. <sighs> okay. Corner to corner. Match it up going down there. Okay, I've got a little extra here, which means I don't have any on the other side, but we can fix that. Okay. You line, it's your turn again. And let's cut across here. Probably should have used my ruler. I see a little bit that needs to be glued down. Okay, put that pin back on. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's really do a nice burnish here. Here, we're going to put a little glue once we take off that paper. All right, so now we have to decide. So this is front, okay, this is back. Do we like it that way? I don't know. I think this big piece makes it kind of heavy and I think it needs to go at the bottom. So, okay, look at that. We've got that right there. Let's it's extra tape and it's going to make it sticky so we're just going to take a smidge all the way off the whole thing taking off the tape and a little bit of that edge which won't matter okay 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 so i just keep getting confused that's right that's right that's right okay Let's do some distressing along that edge, along that edge, along this edge, and that one just for good measure, even though we don't think it's going to show. Oop, turned it around. Okay, just like that. All right, here we go. Let's take this off. I burnished, didn't I? I'd do it again, just for good measure. And I'm feeling something sticky along here. I think I'm just going to trim that tape off. Right there. And re-ink re there. Okay. Here it goes. In one fell swoop. Oh, I'm just going to put some glue on this. Let's put a little bit of glue right along here. I'm not going right, right to the edge because we know what that glue is going to do. It's going to seep and it's probably going to seep out onto the whole thing. All right, here we go. Get it the right way, Pat. Okay. There, 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 there. Okay. And sure enough, we got some seepage. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I'm tearing off that paper. Well, that's not good. This is one of those multitudes of sins we're covering up. Don't do that, okay? It's very discouraging. But it's the back. And what do I always say? It's a junk journal. Okay. <gasps> okay. And it's it's a decent it's a decent weight. Okay. All right. Let's hurry. Or not hurry, but let's do something on the back side. Let's see. I've got for my class. This is um craft cardstock that I get at Hobby Lobby and I create faux leather and I'm thinking you know I kind of like this lighter side so we're going to use this lighter side and we may go over this and give it some distressing once it's well it'd be easier now wouldn't it you know what we're going to try this I've got speckled egg sitting right here. Oh, okay, we could regret this, but we're going to try it. Uh, what have I got? Ugh, we're just going to just do it. It's not going to look so leathery. But, ooh, that's kind of pretty. don't need to go clear up there because that's not going to be part of it. This is Distress Oxide by Tim Holt, Holtz. And I think that I'm going to just use my paper towel, kind of blend it in a little. A little bit's coming off, but not a lot. All right, let's take a look. What do we think? Uh, no, no, I don't know. But we're going to keep it. All right, so now we want to come over this edge about that much and about that much. So if we look at that ruler measurement, that's three inches. It's like three and a quarter. I'm going to cut it three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. And if we think about the height of our book, our book is seven inches. So I'm gonna do eight inches because then it can wrap around. And I'm gonna go eight and a half just for good measure. All right. So here's, here's our faux leather. There's our off cut. I don't know which one was the off cut. No, that one, because I cut it down. Here's what we got left over from our, our board, master board. I'm thinking that could be cut down and made a cute pocket. I think so. All right, let's, are we sure? Are we sure? I don't know. That There's a deep brown there. You know what? That's just kind of bleh. We're going with this. We're going with that. And we're going to distress the edges of our fake leather. I think this was walnut stain, actually, that's on here. But it doesn't matter. We just need that extra finishing touch on there. All right. This video is going too long. All right. We're going to go like that. And I just love that double-sided tape. I'm going for it. Even though it's humongously big and long, we're going to have to cut some off. But it's going to make it so much easier to glue down. Hey, let's do this. Let's do that in two pieces. There we go. 
Okay, match that. Oh, come on, match up. Can't see. Let's straighten it out and use that line to be our guide. So right. And we really don't want this poking out that tape because it will be sticky forever. Okay, there's that. Let's do a quick cut with our knife. Oh, I'm such a slob. I'm a sloppy, sloppy creator. Let's do this so we don't cut our finger. Okay, right like that. I don't know, maybe this would be a fun class to do at my the little shop I'm part of. And have everybody bring a cake box or something else. All right, turn that over. Wow, where'd you come from? I come down here. Then we're gonna have to take some of it off. Uh, we're gonna go right there. Okay, and and I can just hear you. It's like, is this really saving you time? Well, I don't know. Probably not, but it's saving maybe a headache with glue. Ah, go up next to that. Okay, there we go. And <laughs> release. And then on here, and you know those backings that I save, like here's one, I can just put that on there and reuse it. All right, well, I'm seeing there's some tape sticking out here, don't like that. Let's cut that off. Thank you for sacrificing yourself, you line. All right, here we go. Now let's do some burnishing here. So anyway, if you're gonna do faux leather, it can be whatever color. I did, I'm working on a Christmas album and I did some green and I ran it through my embossing folders. I just dressed it brown, but it, it it really is a nice feel, and I I take wax paper after and roll rub it on it. So anyway, the routine is wet it, squirt it both sides, scrunch it up, smooth it out, spray a little more, wet it, scrunch it, smooth it out, maybe a little more, wet it, scrunch it, smooth it out, and then here's the secret ingredient: hair conditioner. You rub it on your hands, rub it all over your paper, both sides, and then smooth it out and just let it dry. And then you can use distress inks or distress oxides and turn it into this beautiful leather. Okay? It's since it's a since I'm doing this for a class, and I do have real leather, and I love real leather binding, it's just expensive. And then the class has to go kind of higher than I want to go. All right, here we go. All right, come on. It doesn't like to come off that, that card, uh, that uh, card stock. All right, where's the album? Where is it? Where are you? Here you are. All right. This is throwing me since this is the right side up, but that is not. All right, here we go. So, this is where I get fouled up every time and I should have measured before. You know what, I can measure now. Just don't touch that. I want to make sure I'm kind of even on both sides. So I'm gonna make a little tick mark here and here. And let's scoot this up so we know that we're even down here and a little tick mark here and here. And this time it's going to be perfect. Okay, we're kind of looking for an equal distance overlap on the top and bottom and we're looking at those lines. If we can see them. 
All right, we're committing. Oh. All right, flip it over. This flips down. Now, generally, this inside covers that. Did not think about it, but we'll come up with something. All right. All right, are you ready? Because now we've got to convince it. You do want to turn. You do want to go. Now, we're going to get in there, in there, in there. Let's go down. Let's go over. Go down. All right. Oh, look at that. Not bad. Not bad. We're not going to work on the signatures. That will be another day. But we've got we've got a nice cover from our cake box. So, if you like this, please subscribe. Please give me some comments. Nice comments are, are, are appreciated. And ring the bell so that you can be notified when I post another video. Um, not sure when I'll get to the, the signatures. And this, this spine just for reference, is an inch, looks like it's good a good inch and a half. So I'm thinking we're gonna do a three, three signature inside. And we haven't done signatures. So if you're new to all this junk journal stuff, you're going, I don't know what a signature is. And I say stay tuned because we will talk about signatures coming up. This is, this is one from a book I didn't use. It's a variety of pages and envelopes and different things that would slide in. Ooh, that one might even get to come. We'd have to do a little trimming. But anyway, that's a signature. And we will sew them into a hidden spine. All right. Hey, thank you guys for watching. If anyone's out there, let me know so I'm not just talking to myself. And have a great day today. Stay well, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.